Hi everyone! So today we're doing another Let's Play kind of video. Just because I really don't have anything to do on my island. Um, can't go villager hunting yet. But we're just going to do some tasks. Um, since I've time tap oh my goodness, since I've time traveled backwards, it's August 5th on my island. And today's Poppy's birthday. Not only that, we have another campsite villager. So I do have Poppy's gift in my hand. I'm also sorry if you can hear sounds. Um, my, neighborhood, my neighborhood is apparently busy at night. So somebody's going out. But we're going to go head over to Poppy's house. Oh, I am sorry to Mabel. I, I'm sorry, I just talked to you. Oh, I did skip probably to the month of August, so we're just gonna... Excuse me, Mabel. I'm sorry I have to push you. Um, we're just gonna do some tasks, but we're going to go to Poppy's house and give her this present. Hopefully she'll like it. It's just a dress, but I think it will look cute on her, so we're just gonna... give it to her. Also, um, oh, Kanto's there. Oh yes, I forgot. Poppy calls me bestie now. It was her idea. That was, I thought it was so cute. So, I do have a gift. Nice. There you go. I do have to go now. I'm sorry, Poppy, but we are going to go. I gave her the blossom dress in green. I think it will look cute on her, so. But we're going to go ahead and also visit the campsite. But I want to collect some. I just know some fossils came up here because when I finally did the fossil area. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. They all just grew. They all appeared over here. This will be the last area I truly have to decorate for my island. I just can't decorate it yet because I still have to give away Julian. We're still setting up like a whole day for that, so... I can't decorate in this villager's yard until I can go villager hunting. Hopefully that will be soon. I am excited. Um, because... I just want to see who we get. It's been a while since I've been villager hunting, and I don't want to let go of any of the villagers I have because of I pretty much got everybody that I want, and the villagers that I have that oh no, I have to go get a shovel. We'll stop by and look at the campsite then too. But the villagers that I ended up getting because I couldn't find Dreamies, they've grown on me. And I think they're adorable. I haven't really talked to any villagers. And that's so... Like, I haven't sat down and played the game. I've been playing... Oh. Hi, Goldie. No, Goldie. Please stop. Okay. I'm just gonna go the other way. That's what I get for making narrow pathways. But, what was I saying? Um... I haven't really been playing Animal Crossing off camera anymore, or like much really, just because I've been playing The Sims again, which I stopped playing for a while just because I also like stopped posting on my Sims channel because it was really overwhelming having to come up with different builds like every week and like twice a week really because I the same schedule I have on this channel is the same schedule I had on my Sims channel. So that's like every Wednesday and Saturday I had to come up with a build. And I ended up doing creative sim videos too, but then even then, those take so long because I spend so much time in creative sim and like perfecting each sim every detail I possibly can. But I stopped playing for a while, like months, and that's when I started focusing more on this island. 
and I guess I'm finally experiencing the Animal Crossing burnout because I have not been playing Animal Crossing off camera, like on either of my Switches, and I might restart my old one. We'll see. I just want to see what's in the shop first. But, oh, yeah. It is not time to go to the shop yet. We'll come back. But, I haven't really played off camera in a while. And so, I guess, like, me making videos and me playing kind of helps. Because I do miss playing Animal Crossing. It's literally been my favorite game since before I started playing The Sims. I absolutely love this game. And I love all the versions of it. Let's see if it was at the campsite. Oh, wow. Well, hi, Judy. I will not be taking you. I see her too often now. You know, for her being like this rare villager that a lot of people want, I see her often. And I have Julian. So, at the same time, I, I feel like all these fairy core villagers are just showing up on my island. And I don't know how to feel about that. Like, is this a sign that I'm not supposed to be doing cottage core and I should be doing fairy core? I have tried fairy core and I. It's not my thing. I do love cottage core and just like forest core. Those are my favorites. Tropical islands are also amazing. I just can never pull that off. Like, I see them and I'm like, I don't know how you do it because I could not. But we're going to go ahead and. Go back to getting fossils, and then we'll look for the daily DIY. And then I want to go shopping, but the store is closed, so hopefully it will be open by then. Or we'll just skip to it. So. But not much has happened. But I- oh yeah, what I was saying earlier, I have- started playing the sims again which is what i've been doing when i'm not like that's what i've really been doing lately and i've been getting back into builds like building again and it makes me feel happy because i like am getting back into something that i used to love doing and i just had a period where i just didn't want to do but i just oh no don't do that oh great i scared the fish off i was gonna catch the fish but there was a period where I just stopped. I wasn't feeling inspired. I felt like I was being forced in a way. Like I was forcing myself to build stuff that I didn't want to build. And it really affected me actually being inspired to build. And just wanting to play the game. So I stopped playing. And usually when I stop playing The Sims 4, I go back to The Sims 3 because it's where I enjoy the gameplay the most. And I did that for a bit, but then I also got tired of playing The Sims 3. Which is when I was really excited about making more Animal Crossing videos. So I had like, I feel like a lot of my inspiration went into here and now it's going back to The Sims. So I've slowly been starting making videos. No, come back. There we go. But I started making videos again. So I think I posted like two or three after like four to five months of not doing that. And I just did a build. The day I'm recording this is Friday night. So I just did a build today. Um, that took me probably seven hours. I started it last night at... 1 a.m. and then continued building until like 4 a.m. and th that was like three hours there and then I started building at noon stopped at six so it was nine hours but I would say like probably eight or seven just because I did take breaks within building today but that was I'm really proud of how it turned out, and if you follow my Sims channel or my Sims account, I will post pictures of it for sure. I just haven't gone in to take screenshots of it. 
but just because, goodness, because that took so long, I, oh wow, I caught a huge shark. I caught a whale shark. Wow. I ended up upsetting my cat. She's sitting on my desk currently, but I was really proud of this build and it's definitely, like, the layout took me forever and I, I think that's part of the reason what really, like, aggravates me about building is having, like, coming up with new layouts. I, I tried not to do the same one over and over again, but I do have, like, some decorating, um, I have, like, certain things that I do when I'm decorating that I, like, do all the time in The Sims, where there's this... I don't know how to describe like I have this like plant thing that I do and then there's this rug set that I use all the time to the point where I literally my sister will look at my builds and she's like if you use these again I swear I'm like I can't help it I like the combinations but I tried trying my best not to do the same things over and over again so I'm just being more mindful of that and like same thing with Animal Crossing 2. For like my next island, I do want to try a different theme. So I think I think I have an idea of what I want to do. Just because I have done Cottage Core twice. But the first time I did it was my first island and I had no skills in terraforming or doing anything regarding that. So now I've gotten better and I really wanted to showcase that on this island and I wanted to save a final dream address of me growing and like me being able to terraform now and I'm really proud of how this one turned out and I love my first island just because it will always have like a special place in my heart and maybe one day I'll rebuild it but I do know that I'm very happy with how this island turned out and I absolutely love everything about it. Oh. No. I wanted to catch this fish. So we'll see if I can. But I love everything about it. And especially using the color yellow. It's my favorite color. So I was very happy. I grew so many yellow flowers. Just so... I could have them and then I like of course incorporated some of the green mums and the lily of the valleys and it helped to break out some of the yellow I think for my final dream address though I do want to go back towards the beginning of July because I don't know if I like the bushes bloom or if I want like a lighter shade of green as the grass because I feel like since I used the hibiscus ones because I liked the leaves, I don't know if I should save it like this or if I should just save it like, how do I, with them not being bloomed. I think I want to go back to the spring or like very end of spring, like June, like April, like end of spring or just like start of summer, June. Because currently in August. So like, it's very summertime. And I want it, like I even want um, the Nook's Cranny to be, um, ow. I want Nook's Cranny to be like the spring shop instead of the summer shop. But I don't know. I think I will do that. I'm just, I really am happy to just sit down and play the game. Like it makes me happy that I can finally play the game and not have to worry about my island being built or decorated and then not having to stress about ideas anymore because I want that's like another thing I wanted to add different ideas for my first island into this one like things I didn't get to do and I think I did pretty well with that I know what I wanted to do I have I plan on changing one area of my island I just have to figure out which one? Because I am adding a soup shop. I do want one. 
and that's like one of the last areas. I thought about making it like, what was it gonna say? Like the last villager's house, like a little soup shop, but I kind of, I don't know how I want to decorate that yard until I end up getting that villager for that yard. And then I'll see. I'm really hoping we get Blair. Just because her and Poppy can be neighbors. It would make me very happy. But, what time is it? 56. Okay. We have a couple minutes and then we can go to Able Sisters. And then, I think that'll be it. Because I just wanted to play for a little. So I'm just fishing. Until then. But, let me see. I want to go assess the fossils. And then, we'll go ahead and go to... Able Sisters. Also, I guess you guys are getting like a little tour of my island. I'll do an official tour video, but I want to wait until everything is done and I go back and change any things that I wanted, like any last minute changes I want to do. I also plan on leaving gifts out for people that tour my dream address. I'm very excited to release it. I am really proud of how everything turned out and the dream address that I have out like the version that's out is not finished and I was sure not to add in the ladder yet because I don't want everybody to see every detail of my island yet until the final address is released so that means like certain things you can't access yourself until the final dream address so I wanted some things to be a surprise but it will all be worth the wait. I'm so excited. I I just can't wait to finish my island. I'll say... Alright. Let's see. That's not what I wanted to do. I think me walking to my... Or walking to Nook's Cranny. Nook's Cranny. And then selling the items will be enough time for Able Sisters to be open. I just need to get there. Oh, but there's a fish. Let's see. I think for my next island, I kind of want to do... I really want to do like City Core. Or just like a old, like vintage town or an old rustic town but I also have the idea of doing like a Wonderland themed island because I really want Stella after seeing Stella she's adorable I remember passing her up on a tour and I really was gonna take her and I didn't and now I really want her on my island because she's adorable but I really want to do like a Wonderland themed tour or like Wonderland themed island and I think Stella would be perfect on that, but I also think she would be perfect. So, maybe I could just combine the two themes? Wait, I want to save that. But, like, I think I should just combine the two themes, and then I could have both. But I... That's one thing. I'll have to watch a lot of island tours again, because that's how I got a lot of inspiration for this island was just watching a ton of island tours on the theme that I was going to do and then being able to kind of make my own out of it. I'm also saving the shark because who knows when I'll get it, one like this again. So I can donate it to the museum once I save my final dream address. Yeah, because I'm like... I know I'm going to restart this island, but it would be nice to at least complete some of my museum before I restart. Oh, and it's open. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully at least one thing good. And then I think that will be all for this video. Let's see. Hi, Mabel. Let's... I want to... I'll have to buy a new dress because the poppy was in my closet because I didn't go shopping because I didn't know it was going to be her birthday. I think I have every item that I want. Hmm. Wait, these are cute. I like these. 
I want the gold ones. Yep, that's... That's all. That, I did not mean to do that. Well... I'm not gonna go back and change. This is what we get, everybody. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, and I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I hope it gives you a reason to play the game in case you guys are also experiencing burnout. Um, that's all I really have for everybody. I'm gonna start working on the Google form so people that want me to tour their islands can leave their dream address and stuff, and I feel like it would be easier to do. But, um, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!